that's where you started. Now, where would you say it took you? I'm a develop, <clears throat> develop. Sorry, I'm a girl from that. Obviously, you know the writing skills get way better than it was before. Come and listen back some of them songs. You think it's tough, but then, but you know, listen them now. You realize it's just basic. Um, it grew up, and obviously, me listen to different genre of music, so. You can hear that in my music and then I write a lot so I write different types. You right? This is R and B type of music. But I still keep it dance although. Obviously me is not an R and B singer. Right. But I still write like in you know, that content. So if I was to go back and explain like if somebody asked me what genre is Dane Blaze, what do I say? Uh I'm a mixture um very very day and wally for different genres. It's just a mixture of but me dance me a dance artist. Okay, so I'll start with dance hall, but he yeah. do a whole bunch of other stuff. Yeah. Okay, and so now that, okay, because you started at 16, mm. and then eventually you started your own record label, Yeah. right? So did you release any music prior to having your own record label? Prior? Mm, no. Okay, so did you kind of make the record label to release music? Yeah. Okay, because the reason why I'm asking is because I know a lot of artists that, you know, they want to put music out. Some of them just do it. They'll just put it on SoundCloud, YouTube, or whatever. Yeah. Um, but I noticed that a lot of the struggle is that people don't know how to monetize their craft. And this, this you know, bleeds throughout all true, industries. True, true, true. Um, so I wanted you to kind of touch on that. Like, what was the motivation? And, like, how did you make sure you had ownership in all ways? First, before me even put out any music, I kind of learn the business side of it a little bit first okay um, because obviously you know we start doing some start growing people i mean it's a business minded person anyway like before me i put out record obviously i'm trying to look other little stuff and i always i think of ways for you know build me stuff i think so that just come naturally end up learn about it and learn how to put out a song because obviously you start to see other artists who i seen for years and then i make mean, nothing out of nothing. music so I start to realize, say, yo, maybe them not do the wrong thing. Then yeah, yeah, you say, producer rob the artist them because them not really know and all that mm-hmm. stuff. So you don't know me, no one get myself in other lane. So I just educate myself. And then eventually I learn, say, I have to put up my own music for my own label because sometimes what me find is that when people can't really manipulate you, them kind of don't want to help you, they don't want to work with you. Mm-hmm. It's me. People like to work with idiots and fools and people that can take for food. Mm-hmm. So when you know, you kind of start finding say that will be a little bit difficult to put out. Well, like music. they actually know something. Yeah. <laughs> don't know call me no more. Right? <laughs> like, um, so <laughs> like, oh, what was I going to ask you? You, Because you were talking about how you started educating. Did you get a mentor or you just was like kind of on the internet looking at stuff because now we got the digital age thankfully you know we could just google anything like is that how you started to learn yeah okay yeah because I'm, I'm, I'm like some people go to school and it's like they still don't learn nothing I'm so like where'd you learn um so what do you think of, now that you have your own label obviously there's people that probably come up to you now and they're like i want to be signed to your label and we have i mean the record label industry is kind of dying and but there are still some artists that are coming out there getting those million dollar deals we hear a lot about these 360 deals and yeah, sure. i mean in my opinion those sound scary as shit but like <laughs> as a the person who started the label how do you go about that part like bringing in the artists and do you teach them you know how to have control over themselves or what yeah you kind of educate them upon uh, making sure so you them out fit them part of the business together mm-hmm. so that because me not Jeff it like rob a person and manipulate nobody like if you if you work and if you get 10 percent, that's where you'll get but me also try to make you know say yo if you don't set yourself in our way your 10 percent is just going to be sitting there right it's not it's your responsibility for us so make sure say yo you have your thing together so you can get what you deserve and that's what i'm saying but we try to give them as much information as possible but they must actually want the information you too you can't just sit down and think yeah, yeah let's be an artist and sing because some artists just want to sing yeah they don't want to do the other part you know what I mean but it's there and I'm trying to do my part obviously me I don't want a big record label where 
you know, we're gonna sell every photo that's not gonna do these millions of stuff. But right. if we're gonna assist in our project, you're gonna get what you forget that you're gonna know all the credentials you have to know. But I think that's that's key anyways, like like I was saying, I I hate editing. Oh my gosh, like I really don't like it. Mm. But I made sure I knew how to do it so that if I were to go and pay somebody else to do it, then it's like, I know what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. I know what it's supposed to sound like, yeah. you know, and I think that's like the key. It's like, you don't have to do every part of everything, sure. but just like how Kendrick was talking about Rihanna got robbed. It's like, if she knew what was going on with her money, couldn't nobody rob her, you know? Sure. <laughs> so it's like, that's sure. definitely key to new artists. So that's a little golden key right there. And like, make sure you self-educate on things so that at least you know what it's supposed to look like. Exactly. Um. Okay. So... I see you have some songs out in 2019. I was going through your videos. One of my, I actually named off some of my few that are my favorite. I like Sauce God. Did I say that right? No, yeah, you said Sauce God. <laughs> Sauce God. Sauce God. Sauce God. <laughs> um, and then Dream to Reality. Like those yeah. are like the two top ones for me. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite songs that you've written and put out? Because uh, I know you got some in your pocket. They ain't nobody heard yet. But what about the ones you already have released? Uh. You know what? My songs are my favorite for the first two, three weeks after I put them up. And then they add the newest song that becomes my new Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> People still on the old yeah. stuff and you're like, no, listen to this. <laughs> um, but I say, uh, Dream to Reality. Okay. Right now. I want my favorite. Because it's so close to, to home, close to my reality. You know what I mean? So. Most times we don't actually sing everything what we have got through. We we'll probably sing something where a friend have got through and kind of creative, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah so, so you put it together and you make it work. But dream to reality, close. Because, you know, we grow poor, we live in the ghetto. So it's not easy. Like, you know, everybody say, oh, it's not easy and it's this and it's that. But when you, when you go through it and you live it, it's a totally different thing. Right. You know I mean? so, so you try in your best to show people like, nah, that's really. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny too, because it's like, it's not easy. And most people that grow up like that, you know, not even just most, basically everybody that grow up rough, mm. they trying their best to get out of that. Yeah, that's the thing me and him. <laughs> but there's people that grow up nice. And they like, oh man, I wish I knew what it was like. And I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> I know, I know. Yes. <laughs> I appreciate what you have. You don't want to. Right, because, you know, yeah. you, you get some good cameras, put a little mm -hmm. nice filter on it, put a little melody to the beat, and then they think, oh, that sounds you know, nice. I, I want to do it. Like, you have some youth will go, like, I mean, anybody can be any way they want to be. But you have some people who don't know nothing about, like, for instance, a certain type of lifestyle. But all them songs is about that. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's some artists yeah. out there right now that live that life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we ain't gonna name no names. I don't want no shots fired. But um so the other song, Pretenders. Great pretenders. Great pretenders. So was that about personal or was that like a um, related That's just related. I don't really personal, personal, personal. I mean personal, you know, similar experiences, but that that are more related. I mean that's an everyday story. You there on you grow up, people were part together, um you know, grow up from school days, you know kill each other and you know who not you know they with each other girlfriend and all that type of mm -hmm. you know what I mean stuff like that so, so how you keep yourself that. away from that especially doing stuff that you're doing you know you have a following you have music out there you know you get a request to do interviews and stuff so people are looking out for you mm -hmm. um in that way so how do you make sure that like your circle is tight uh yeah. Over time, <laughs> over time, over time, you learn how to weed out the bad grass. Uh -huh. mean? Not even bad grass. But you, you, you pull out the bad weed out of the grass. Sorry, I'm doing that wrong. I mean, it's because... bad grass, you know, it can get dry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, but you have to keep checking. And, you know, mean? Me, personally, when I deal with things, I confront, me is a confrontation person. So I confront a lot of situations straightforward because mm -hmm. most of the time when you confront situations straightforward there's not really much places they can go you have to kind of just deal with it right like, you understand if you wait and you know one and people get this this chance to twist up stuff and go wrong right. and all that stuff and then you isn't it sometimes it ain't worth it right cause bigger problems so i'm just confront things straight 
And energies are real though too, because yeah. especially what you said about the like trying to wait. It's like you're getting a vibe already that something is not right. That person is getting the vibe that you getting the vibe yeah. that something's yeah. not right. Yeah. So, it's, so it's yeah. like they gonna start moving differently because yeah. obviously you got something that they want or need or whatever they perceive in their head. And yeah, I'm I'm like that too. I I agree. You just gotta go head on. So um yeah, I like that song too. They, yeah, the video was crazy too. I was like, man, no, no, no. when I saw her fingernails, I was like, that's the girl I am. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Um, okay, and then the last thing I wanted to talk about was, cause for me, my introduction to Caribbean mm-hmm. music, and I mean, I had a little bit like I was telling um, Jason, I was telling him that like one of my first introduction outside of Marley was Dancehall Queen, the mm-hmm. movie. But for the most part, it was kind of like here and there, not really like heavy, heavy, but I'm from Cali. So when I moved to New York and then I was around all the West Indian people, mm-hmm. that's when I was like, oh, shit, like, <laughs> mm-hmm. this world, right, this mm-hmm. world is huge. Like what? I've been missing out. And so then I started to learn the music, had to get used to the accent. Like yeah, it was a whole yeah. experience, you know, yeah. but um, on the flip side, from the Jamaican side, trying to you know break out into you know the other countries and arenas yeah. how have you like started or how did you do it like um from jamaica side for break out usually there's there's many ways it can work for me the networking um make right networking be a major part for me um in my music because before me really start getting my music play out like me you know, try to reach out to people, different countries and different, you know what I mean? Try to meet them and they use the internet as a tool mm-hmm. for kind of reach out and it worked for me. Um, the UK, um, Canada. Yeah, UK US, is heavy for yeah. Caribbean too. Man, um, that was, man, that carnival was fun. That carnival was fun. Yeah, that, shit yeah. Was, that was popping. I thought the West Indian Day Parade in yeah. New York was fly. And then I went to that one. I was like, oh, y'all shit it on this <laughs> <laughs> new That shit the whole year. Yeah. That's, 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 that's a landmark carnival. A carnival is a... Is a is, um, it's one of the biggest, I think. I can't, I can't remember if it is the biggest, but it's definitely one of the biggest. It's there. I don't really know um, any carnival where it's bigger than nothing in carnival. Okay, yeah. So that was like big. Sun, one of them. So how, can you get involved with something like that? Yeah. I mean... um. You have to put in work. You out there, I gotta see you. You have to put in the work, and, <laughs> and eventually you will, you will, you will, you will, you know, reach. Cause as I said, one networking play a part, and two, just work in itself play a part. So the more you network and the more your music get out there, obviously, you know, you will, you will. Cause in nothing in carnival, like when I'm new to England, I've been to England um, more than one time. So I've been to that carnival too. Mm-hmm. You know, in there once. So performing at a carnival, eh, you just really need to just be there at the time of the carnival or, you know what I mean, shows around that time. Mm-hmm. You, know, you, you can get there for perform because I was seeing a world for people, you know, over this time. Yeah, no, that shit was fire. Oh, man, if I go there and I see you on stage, I'm like, hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you go anywhere and see me, I have to go to that. Yeah, <laughs> I got to see you, I know. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, so, I guess last thing, how do you stay consistent? Because I know life get in the way and you know drama whatever money whatever come up like how do you make sure you stay consistent with your craft i never stop right okay i never stop right even if i cannot get for a card because sometimes i'm gonna get for a card as i want to sometimes as i said life coming out of the way and i get distracted doing other stuff but i still never stop right even if i want to go home before i got my bed or most time i right like early in the morning like three between three o'clock and them time there, but always alright. Never stop right. Okay. So I always have the new flow them and the sound and try to keep myself relevant with what I go on. Cause me know say whenever I'm going to the studio, I go on to be up to date with is it my thing. Right. I'm try to find so just to be you start trying to update myself anyway. I don't want to stay up on the same level and the only way for do that is to keep working. Okay. To me anyway. So shout out your newest song, what you want people to listen to, where they can find you, and any message you got for the for the not just LA people but the US people that's just now learning who Dane Blaze is. All right, you know you can find me on social media D A I N E B L A Z E. 
I just want the Indians, not the artists, my name. Wait, hold on. I'm going to translate because the way y'all yeah. say Z's are very different. So it's D A I N E space B L A Z E. That's how he says it. Yeah. <laughs> the Z, you say the Z different. Yeah, Z. Z. Yeah, y'all say Z. <laughs> Z. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's the Blaze for every platform. Um, newest song we're going about right now Dream to Reality. Yes. Dream to Reality. That's the mm-hmm. latest. Single, well, it's not even a single, it's a compilation, but that's my song we're promoting right now. Um, just do the video feed, just last month when we finished shooting the video. Nice, so you, know, you can look out for that anytime after like within a week or two. Hey, but we're gonna have to do a world premiere, okay. Yeah. And that's like another, where's the video anyway? When you see the video, you know, I'm excited. I already liked what I seen, <laughs> and like not only did I like it, I like like the settings. I like that it was different parts of Jamaica. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, now that I'm out here, like I know what it actually looked like, and like, cause you know, life. yeah, the videos make everything look beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> In our real life, you the ghetto looks so beautiful awesome. on video. Like, you like I want to live there. You don't. Yeah. You don't. But okay, so thanks again for letting me interview. This has been fun. Yeah. We we about to uh what you said hold on yeah. What you guys about? Tell, I never say um. You ask me again. What am I gonna put me up? Tell the younger. Artists, oh yeah. Like, what, artists, mm-hmm. Just put in the work. Be consistent. Believe in yourself. And just stay focused. You understand what I say? Enough things can happen when you just use them four things. Eh? You see me? Mm-hmm. Sometimes you have to know how you have to reach to a place. You just be if you know so you have to reach. You see me? And you work out. Try to educate yourself. All the way, can not know beat and knowledge. You see me? For months, you know, nothing can really beat you. Right. You see me? You're ignorant to things. So just keep on that farm there and you reach. It might take you a week, it might take you a year. Just remember, everybody have them own timing when they're going to reach. Just yep. focus on year, things stay in a year then. Yep. Mm. That's true. Everybody got their own journey. <laughs> uh, and to build off of that, that's one, that's why the consistent part is definitely key. But even just your, your song title, Dreams to Reality. A lot of people have dreams. Mm-hmm. A lot of us have dreams. We know we supposed to be somebody. We supposed mm-hmm. to do something, whatever. But if you're just sitting there mm-hmm. and you're not doing nothing with your talent or you just do it one time and then you wait mm-hmm. another year and then you do it again and then you wait another... Like, that's not consistency. Nobody's going to care. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you gotta, you have to work to make that dream a reality because ain't nobody else going to do that shit for you. Yeah, really, like, <laughs> Real life, right. No fun <laughs> So like Dane Blaze said, we're going to make our dream a reality if we stay consistent and keep at it. So thanks again. Uh, go follow him on IG, Twitter, YouTube, all that good stuff. Um, what's the name of your recording label? Just see my records. Okay. Um, City Kings Entertainment. Okay, so go look out for any other artists that's under his label, under his entertainment side. We support everybody. And thanks again for tuning in to Perfect Perspectives. You can find me on YouTube as well. Uh, I'm recording this, so I'll put this on YouTube so you'll see some of it and all the other stuff we're working on because we was doing a little bit of music. He got me ready, y'all. Mm-hmm. Ready, all right. <laughs> And, um, like I said, it's on Podcast Land, which is Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, ICN DJ, ICN DJ, and Radio Public. And if you guys are artists and you want to reach out to me personally, you can email me at perkyperspectivespod at gmail.com. Thanks. Ooh, it's hot. Ciao. Told you. I know. I, man, you didn't have to tell me. It's hot everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I've been dying. So good. You know what I'm saying? Like, like interviews. Like. <laughs> Is there a butt coming? Sound no, no, no. It's not a butt. Oh. <laughs> Just something more interview. Or... Does it just depend on who you, who's doing it? Some people can't interview, like you know, like, you can tell some people can't interview. Like, you can't interview like, nah, you know, you're not supposed to be asking the question. <laughs> you're probably going to take over interview and start talking about people. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that naked about them themselves. Yeah, like tonight, like, like, um, like,
that's my thing. I was, I have to like, because I'm a social worker. So I went to school and stuff for social work, um, and sociology, all that stuff. But I knew I didn't really want to work a job, but you know, bills. So I like, <laughs> had to. Right. So, um, but recently I just made the decision that, like, if that's not what I'm going to do, did not waste my time. Yeah. Yeah, broken. What the hell are you doing? You're riding a motorcycle or something? That's crazy. How you didn't hit your head? Because y'all don't wear helmets out here. Did you do? Okay. I don't wear that either. I'll be seeing people not wear one. No, me neither. You know it's funny? They said that when I do her, people would say, you need to try to find it. It's trouble. You know, when the whole world is working, it's like a good look of your mind, say, you have a big, and say, same thing that you think you could do, you still have a deal. And you still have a deal, you carry on, you have energy there, you have to push it. You have to make the things as far as you can. Yeah, and I think like that's the best part about like finally taking that leap is that the universe catch you. Cause you think, oh my god, oh my god, I'm walking over the cliff, and then you just start walking. You like, oh shit, I can walk over here. Like, <laughs> cause it was like it was already there. It was just waiting. That's what I used to tell people. It's like sometimes it felt like I was just at the door, just like pulling the door, pulling the door. Like, why is this shit not opening? And then the window was open next to me the whole time, but I was so focused on going through the fucking door that I didn't realize that my entrance was really right here. So, yeah, I definitely feel that. I feel that. And I be telling people, I I mean, everybody is not meant to be that, you know, because, like, even my mom, I feel like my mom is, like, a lot of my motivation on, on why I try everything that I want to do because she never really just stopped learning like she wanted to be a teacher and then she did real estate and then she did this so she was always like trying something else but even when I try to try to tell my mom like why don't you just do the thing just just do it she's like no I got one more year to retire or whatever you know and so it's like even me and her like same bloodline I'm getting my inspiration from her but it's still a whole different mindset and like like I said in the song like no regrets like my grandma she want to go to Japan she in her 80s now. She's like, no, I don't really like flying, da, da, da. But I'm like, if I get to 80s, I'm going to be on every plane. Like, <laughs> like I done already did everything. <laughs> but, yeah, perception is yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. key, you know. I'm excited. Okay, so i got to edit this. It's going to be fun. It shouldn't be that hard, though. Only We only have, like, one or two. Like, that was probably when the interface went off right here. No, I gotta find it. But um, I do that and then. So it sounded fine to me. Yeah, you can't, cause the fan wasn't on. The only time that I heard him when he was talking, but I I just exited it all out. That's why I just told you to start over. So you won't be able to hear him. The only thing is when the interface went off, uh, you kept talking, so I might just keep it. But oh, this, yeah, well, <coughs> this. yeah, but it's fine because it's a podcast. That's the fun thing about a podcast, they don't have to be perfect. Oh, stop, stop that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people be smoking and shit. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> podcasts are way more free, so I might keep it. How long was that? First, we had our podcast, yeah, no more podcasts. I mean, we don't really know nothing about it. 